Hi LCS artists, it's Mrs. Peterson here. Today we're going to be learning about one of my favorite artists, Wayne Tebow. We're going to start off by watching a short video about him and his artwork. His name is Wayne Tebow, and if you missed the retrospective of his work some months ago, don't worry, we've arranged this special showing. They say you should never start a meal with dessert, but you can use cake to launch an art career. Forty years ago, when painter Wayne Tebow looked at the swirling frosting on a shop counter, he couldn't help but see gooey gobs of oil paint. Do you like the way that he, he used so much paint that it looks almost like realizing? Not long ago, the Whitney Museum in New York looked a bit like a bakery window. On display, a retrospective of Wayne Tebow's remarkable career, featuring his now legendary menu of cakes and pies. You could have picked anything, and you picked pie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I really don't know. I uh, painted these eight or ten pies on plates and thought, well, that's... No one's going to take me seriously now, but I couldn't leave it alone. His voluptuous oils look like buttercream on canvas. You don't just want to look at his pictures, one critic said. You want to lick them. I want some. You take a lemon meringue pie. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's quite a beautiful thing, a piece of lemon meringue. It's more than just a subject. It's also a kind of... Uh, relationship to the paint itself, where you really feel like you're sort of making the meringue and touching the cake or working with the pie. At 81, Wayne Tebow is still going strong. I'm going to stop the video right here. Wayne Tebow is still alive and making artwork. He's almost 100 years old. So let's take a look at some of his artwork. You might recognize this artwork. It is hanging in that room. This is a painting that Wayne Tebow made of different desserts on a tray ready to be served. I know lots of you have spent time looking at all the desserts he painted on this tray. Now, I want to show you one of my favorite paintings that he made because I saw this painting in real life. I took this picture when I was at the Milwaukee Museum of Art in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. When I got close to the painting, I could see how thick he put on his paint. If you can look, if you look carefully at the painting, you can see that it looks like real icing and real whipped cream and real pie crust. He makes his artwork look realistic by putting the paint on nice and thick. Here are some more examples of different desserts that Wayne Tebow has painted. He liked to make slices of cake or he would draw and paint whole displays with different desserts. In this display, I see pies and I see cakes. I even see a wedding cake with three layers. Can you see it? This is another painting where he made a variety of different desserts and he painted them so they're looking like they're on cake stands. If you were seeing this painting in real life, you could once again see how thick Wayne Tebow applied the paint. And here's another painting he did of a wedding cake. As you can see, this cake has three layers, a big cake at the bottom, a smaller cake in the middle, and the smallest cake is on the top. Wayne Tebow also liked to paint ice cream. So here is another example where he took a couple different servings of ice cream, some in cups, some in bowls, and he painted them very carefully. He would look at what he was painting and then he would paint what he saw. Here's a similar idea, but this time he did ice cream cones. Once again, it looks like real ice cream because of how Wayne Tebow uses his paint. So I'm going to stop our lesson about Wayne Tebow right here, and now you're all ready to make your own artwork based on what he created. Thanks for learning with me.